back to that injury, uh, wh what kind of timeline are we looking at? When can we see you back with that toe? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that it heals in three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, theoretically, it should. Um, then we get to plan. My idea was to compete indoors because I've not really competed indoors by my past couple of seasons. I take part, but not really, you know. Mm -hmm. So this time around, I, I would want to try and focus on that, play a little bit more, and, and hopefully get a medal in the Worlds. Then outdoors, I'm planning to compete. The World Championship is in Japan. When would that be? Um, September. September. Yeah, then the indoor is going to be in March. And, okay, then you should be fully okay by then. I should be fully okay in three weeks, in three theoretically. Weeks. Th yeah. Okay, but do, do you feel okay now? I feel fine. I, mm -hmm. I don't feel... Again, I, I I think there was like, there's no, it's not like the pain that's hindering me. Mm -hmm. It's actually the spasms that's hindering me. And that's why we didn't really think, or it wasn't ruled right away that it was a stress fracture. It's like a specific kind of scan that needed to be done. It is what it is. Okay, but you're, we'll, we'll be seeing you soon. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so what's the plan leading up to, I have to ask this, I know it's way down the line, but... What's the plan for 2028? Are, are you targeting that again? We'll take it one year at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, four years is a long time. And um, I don't want to be lying and like saying, okay, for sure, LA, for sure. So a lot of things can happen. And for me, I'll take it one year at a time. I know I'm motivated enough to go the next year. And I know that I could push this and I can compete at the level where I want to. But things happen. What if it doesn't, what if it's not anymore? Am I going to, waste taxpayer money and continue to train if I'm not committed anymore, then it's not really worth my while. It's not worth my while, it's not worth my 78-year-old coach's while to train me if I'm not there fully. Therefore, if I'm being honest, I'll take it one year at a time. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be in LA. And if I'm being honest, the more the time passes and I'm probably going to be there more. More than not. Okay, I, I, the reason why I ask is because, again, going back to the last conversation we had, you said you were also considering practicing your profession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, for the next year, I think I'm looking at angles on how I could finish it without hampering the way I would be able to compete. Because what really motivates me right now is I want to be the best athlete my coach has ever trained. It's a big shoe to fill, but that's something I want to do, and uh, I hope i able to achieve that and be able to give him that joy of, of producing someone yet again at that level. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that, that really motivates me, and so, that doesn't have a timeline like before, you know, and it's not, it's not, like, uh, it's not like Paris said, okay, Paris is done and done. Mm -hmm. and this one's a little bit more flexible, kind of malleable of a goal. It's not easy. Definitely. I don't know if it's even realistically easy for me to, or realistically possible. Yeah, I think so. But still, like, you know, it's one of those things that kind of is a long shot. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever you decide on will be behind you.